What's up, folks? I am back with another video on how to idle steam hours, as requested by a lot of people. Um, I didn't answer a lot of questions in the last video that I should have. I tried my best to keep up with all the comments and questions, but uh, there were so many. And also, a uh, huge thanks to everybody who supported the last video. 100,000 views is crazy. And thanks to everybody who helped out in the comments with other people who had questions. So yeah, much love. First, just go to Google or whatever browser you use. Type in Steam Idol Master. It's gonna be the first link right here, in GitHub. Click that, and then just go down here to Assets. It'll say Steam Idol or Idol Master Extended. Click that. It'll download. Just double click the zip or extract it somewhere. I'm just gonna put it on the, the desktop. So just open that folder, and then right click, go to new text document and I name it idle open the text document uh, I've already got this in here somehow anyway uh, so what you want to do is when you open the text document you're gonna type this in start space steam hyphen idle dot exe space and you can do this up to 30 times each line is gonna be one game so up to 30 times which will be 10,080 hours every two weeks if you idle 24 7 I'm obviously not going to fill up 30, that's going to take too long. But to get the, the game ID that you want to run, you just go to your Steam library and then click on the game you want. So say CS2, store page, up at the top left there will be a link, you'll see app, you'll see Steam uh, storesteampower.com app and then a number. So for CS2 it's 730, so if I want to idle CS, just type 730 there, go to a new game. Uh, we'll just do Elden Ring. I don't have it installed. And yes, you can idle games that are not installed. So just click on it in your library, store page. Top left is number 1245620. So 1245620. And we'll do one more. Let's just do. Uh, this game. Screw it. 1575940. So. One five seven five nine four zero. Whoops. Okay, so after you get all the games that you want to idle, uh, you just go up here to, to the left, file, save as. You want to save it as idle.bat. Go down to save as type, change it to all files, and you just click save, close that out, go back to the folder, and then now you'll see idle.bat. This idle.text is not important. So you just double click idle.bat and it's going to run the games. As you can see, these little windows will pop up. They use uh, minimum resources, so like hardly any RAM, any CPU usage. And that's the benefit of running it like this instead of just opening the game. Because you're not actually like rendering anything. It's just telling Steam that you're playing the game. And again, you can do this up for 30 games for a total of 10,080 hours per week over all the games, not in one game. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, most asked questions. Uh, can I run this while my PC is in sleep mode? No, you cannot because sleep mode uh stay is meant to save power to and stops like all apps from running or sus suspends all apps. Another question was, can I run this while my PC is off? That should be pretty obvious. No, you cannot run anything while your PC is off. Uh, another question was, do I need to log in to use this? No, you do not need to log in. <clears throat> can I get card drops from this? Yes, you can get card drops. I've gotten a lot of card drops from it. Uh, what was another one? Can I run mul one game multiple times? That was one of the biggest ones. No, you cannot, unfortunately. I wish. That'd be really cool. Uh, it's just one game. I mean, you can, you can put in multiple instances of the same game, but it's just still going to count one hour. And yes, it is one hour per one hour you run it. Can I idle Steam games that are not installed? Yes, I answered that previously. Uh, can you idle games that you do not own? No, you cannot idle games that you do not own. And a potential bug that were that was causing people to lose hours is going and setting yourself to offline mode. I forget where you do that. Yeah, go offline mode or even here, I guess. Uh, when you start to idle hours, what you want to do is set your uh, your status to invisible, not offline. 
I'm not sure if it really matters, but a lot of people were having like a bug where they lost a bunch of hours. So yeah, just click here, go to invisible. And that way, like when you idle like up to 30 games or how many ever games you idle, it's not going to spam your friends saying that, hey, this player is playing this game, this game, this game. It's just going to like have a lot, giant line here. You'll probably get unfriended or blocked or people send you messages like, what the hell, bro? But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, it's pretty simple. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the below, in the comments below. I'm gonna have all the links and every all the relevant information in the description. So yeah, appreciate you guys and peace out.